kita masih lagi dalam chapter yang sama iaitu transition element but this time is part 5. Okey, jadi sebelum ni kita dah tengok uh, in part 4 the nomenclature of complex ion. Okey, so this time we look at color of the complex ions. Okey, uh, ini ada beberapa uh, jenis color, okey. Yang ada untuk transition element okay. ha, Yang ni sebahagian sahaja ya. Saya tak masukkan semua color lah okay. Ini sebahagian lah So the diagram shows approximate colors For some common transition metal complex ions Okay so The color of complex ion Depends on First we have the Nature of the central metal ion. Okay, number two. The oxidation state of the metal ion. Okay, positive two or positive three. Okay, of positive one. Okay, and the third one is the type of the ligand. So, uh, ada tiga faktor yang mempengaruhi warna kompleks ions. Different colors result when the certain wavelengths of light is reflected, transmitted or absorbed after heating a substance. In an isolated, uncomplex gases transition metal ion, all the five 3D orbitals are degenerate, means have the same energy. Okay, maksud degenerate tu dia mempunyai tenaga yang sama. In complexes, the five 3D orbitals are split into two groups with an energy gap between them. Okay, jadi yang ni kita ada 3D orbital. Okay, uh, yeah. yang ini ialah degenerate. Okay, this one 3D. Okay, yang ni degenerate. Uh, same energy level Lepas tu dia akan split into two Di mana uh, Tiga orbital di bawah Dan dua orbital di atas Okay uh, Yang ini dia punya energy gap So the diagram shows The arrangement of D electrons In a copper to ion Okay jadi kita tengok contoh Untuk copper to ions Okay, ah, dekat D orbital. Okay, dekat D orbital kita ada 2, 4, 6, 8, 9 elektron. Okay, oops. 9 elektron. So, elektron ni, okay, orbital ni dia akan split into two. Okay, ah, yang di bawah ni kita ada ah, 3. Okay, yang di sini kita ada tiga orbital, di sini atas ada dua orbital. Okay, kita kena penuhkan elektron uh, pada orbital yang bawah baru di atas. Okay, so dekat atas ni dia ada satu orbital yang kosong. Okay, ada satu je elektron, so ada satu kosong kat situ lah. Ada kekosongan di situ. So, two with a higher energy than the three, the other three. Okay. So, the difference in energy, delta E, corresponds to the visible region of the electromagnetic spectrum. Okay, uh, ini kita dapat lihat dekat kawasan visible light. Okay, uh, visible light ni dia ada uh, different colors. Okay, ada banyak warna dekat sini ya. Okay. When exposed to light, electron in the lower d orbital absorb certain wavelength of the visible light spectrum and get promoted to the higher group of d orbital. Okay, uh, so bila dia um, absorb heat, okay, elektron yang berada di bawah dia akan promoted ataupun excited to the higher group of d orbitals. Okay, so this situation we call DD transitions. Okay, such DD transitions are responsible for the color transition metal compounds. Okay, jadi situation ni kita panggil 
DD transitions. The color perceived in a substance is the color complementary to the color that it absorbs. Okay, ah, maksudnya dekat sini, ah, warna yang diserap, okay, dengan warna yang dinampak adalah yang bertentangan. Okay, contoh kalau dia um, masa dia nak promote tu, okay, dia absorb magenta color. Okay, tapi apa yang dia nampak, okay, color yang kita nampak ialah green color. Okay, ah, macam tu lah. Kalau dia absorb red color, so mata kita akan nampak uh, cyan color. Okay, suppose that the energy gap in the d orbitals of the complex ion corresponded to the energy of yellow light. The yellow light would be absorbed because its energy would be used in promoting the electron. Okay, ha, contoh ni lah. Ini contoh untuk copper tu ion tadi. Okay, jadi tenaga yang digunakan tu berada pada yellow color. Okay, jadi dia akan absorb the yellow light. Okay, complementary color of yellow ialah blue. So, your eye would see the light passing through as a dark blue because blue is the complementary color of yellow. Okay? Okay, that's all untuk uh, color of complex ion. Okay, macam mana complex ion tu ada warna? Because of the DD transition. Okay, jadi untuk dapat DD transition, first kali, uh, 3D orbital tu dia akan split into two. Okay, two orbital with the higher energy level. Okay, another three is the lower uh, part. Okay, with a lower energy. Kemudian dia akan promoted. Okay, bila dia promoted, dia absorb heat. Okay, jadi heat tu tengok warna mana yang ada pada uh, heat tu, tenaga tu ya. Okay, uh, jadi warna yang kita nampak tu adalah complementary color. Okay, so that's all for color of complex ion. Okay, masih ada lagi tajuk transition element. So, see you in the next part. Bye.